Sarasota, top 10, who's list? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick. We're part of that great Mangrove Realty family. My guest today is Mr. Steve. Hey, Reed. how you doing? Welcome. Steve is the owner and publisher of both the Longboat Key News and Sarasota City News. So let's talk about the top 10. But first of all, we're at Ken Thompson Park. This is one of my favorite places. This Looking is gorgeous. Over, over our backs is the John Ringling Bridge. The sun is coming up. It's early on Friday morning when we're shooting this. Just a great, quiet place. There's people out here enjoying the park. There's dogs being walked. Um, lots of cool stuff. But let's talk top 10. You know, it's eight, it's almost nine. It's not really early. I've been working since five, Mike. I don't know. I know, sorry to get you going so early. All right, so let's be really candid here. One, I think that's <laughs> fake news. Fake news. And two, uh, uh, I'm pretty certain my clients wouldn't appreciate phone calls at five o'clock in the morning. True, true. Well, uh, you left yourself open. All right. I think I won that round. You, might, you probably did, you know, you, <laughs> generally. But all right, here's what's going on here. We're here because this beautiful city really won another big, big accolade and rose in the rankings. U.S. News and World Report every year says, where's the most, the best places to live in the country? Yes. Not best retirement or best student place. Just best. Best. No adjectives. Best of best. the best. That's right. Yeah. And who was in the top 10? Right here. Sarasota. City of Sarasota. Yes. The whole region, actually, which includes Longboat, Bird Key, Lido, Siesta, we have the number one beach in the country. We're in the top 10. And by the way, when they say top 10, we're really top one in some of the rankings. That's yes. broken into different categories. Some of them, like affordability compared to wages, it's tougher in Sarasota, so we, that drops us a little. But... When it comes to actually enjoyment and lifestyle, we're like at the top I mean, of the list. The water activities, the arts, the, the museums, history here. Um, it's just walking oh. on the sidewalks here's, downtown. Here's Sarasota. We get upset if it takes 10 minutes to get over the Ringling Bridge and say, oh, the <laughs> traffic was horrible. You know, this is really probably one of the best places I've ever lived. And I've lived in, you know, New York, Vermont, New Mexico, California, Washington. Can't and beat yet the you've area. elected to stay here. You've been here for many years now. 27 um, years, six children. What, what's, what's nice? <laughs> six children that, in that Sarasota. Tell, tells me you're a very good father. I'm an advocate. Um, you know, what's nice about this is the weather is pretty moderate, pretty tempered in terms of this time of year, we're going to see low 90s most likely. We're going to see a few minutes of rain sometime today, and then the sun comes back out in low 90s. So it's a consistency True. that really makes this nice. It's a beautiful place. I'm going to share a secret, and I don't want anyone who's watching this video to share with anyone else, but it's just gorgeous down here in the summertime. People talk about the heat, but where I'm from in Michigan, you mentioned New York, it gets hot and it gets humid oh. up there. The consistency here is what wins out, but there's something for everyone, bike riding, um, scooters, just walking You know what I find, around. too, is you get these really long days, obviously, in June and July and being in the south. So if you schedule your golf or tennis before 11 in the morning or after 5 in the afternoon, you have tons, three, four hours a day yeah. in the morning and afternoon to do everything, and it's gorgeous. So I think you and I are both in agreement. There's a reason why we're in the top 10 that's well-deserved. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and, and we're smart because we're here year-round. That's right. I think we, you know. We are. Yeah. All right, Steve. Again, um, this is all about bringing you the West Coast of Florida from the eyes of the folks that live here, play here, and work here. Steve, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate this. Take this it is easy. an honor. Top 10. We're proud to be here and be part of the uh, population. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time with another edition of Out and Around with Mike. Take care. Thank you.